Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. Let me take you into today's story about two original brothers I was lucky enough to have in my life. They used to call Eddie Jackson, Bill Bonds called him The Originator. The Originator is what Bill Bonds used to call my father, Eddie Jackson, every time he would hit the news of court. Understand this, the originator, the original Big Meech, the original Big Meech, Demetrius Holloway, another motherfucker getting money like never before. Understand this, nothing ventured nothing gained so that little $50,000 we lost with Dave Goff if the move had went right the move was worth a million dollars to Dave Goff it was worth 200 keys 90% pure heroin at $5,000 a key to me and five so nothing ventured nothing gained it's something my father used to always say to me, and it kind of rang true. He said, Eddie, a closed hand can't nothing get in it and can't nothing get out of it. It's just a closed hand. A closed hand, you can't get nothing in it and you can't get nothing out of it. Understand what a closed hand is. And most brothers' hands is closed because they don't want to give anybody anything even if it may benefit them down the road. Understand this when I say about the originator Eddie Jackson and the original Big Meech, Demetrius Holloway, that's one that Al Prophet need to do. Put Demetrius Holloway up against Big Meech BMF because Demetrius Holloway was first. Put Demetrius Holloway up against Big Meech BMF Steve Fishman tell all of y'all out there, he beat every case Demetrius Holloway ever had. Demetrius Holloway had so much art, it was no copping out like my father. They gonna win or go to jail. Understand how much heart they had. Demetrius beat every case he had. Big Meech is sitting in jail right now for 30 years on a case. I believe he could have beat. Southwest T got out with Demetrius Holloway's lawyer. Who do you think got Southwest T out of jail? Demetrius' lawyer, Steve Fishman. Understand that Big Meech Demetrius Holloway was first in many ways. He beat every case he ever had, and Steve Fishman tell y'all that. Understand that. You understand the originator and the original Big Meech wasn't nothing to play with. Understand that Demetrius Holloway beat every case he ever had and Steve Fishman represented him on him and he told all y'all that. Understand the original Big Meech was a case beater beating him with the government. Understand that. With Detroit City Police, as his fame grew, the cases grew. Taking money, Steve Fishman had to go back get $250,000 they took from him one night we leaving the 19th hole understand that so I keep telling y'all if you want to do a real one and look ain't nothing new up under the sun let me tell y'all that there is nothing new up under the sun and let me say this and I have to always tell y'all that it takes a lot of heart to walk in that courtroom when they talk about giving you life in 20 years and I'm going to tell you this, you rest a whole lot easier, at least I did, with Steve Fishman representing me. If I knew Steve was going to be on my arm walking in that court when I had a case, I could sleep at night. But if Steve Fishman wasn't representing me, I'd toss and turn, worry, got butterflies and everything else. And Steve Fishman used to clear them butterflies up. So when you out there getting big money and you that man, Get you a hell of fine attorney like Steve Fishman so you don't have to sit 30 years down quite like Big Meats did. 
and remember this, as I said to y'all, Demetrius Holloway's lawyer, Steve Fishman, is the one who got Southwest Tia time cut. Understand that. So when you're comparing the two, compare how many cases Demetrius won and beat and walked out of the courtroom and compare how many cases Demetrius Flanagan won and stayed in the courtroom for 30 years. Understand that when the feds came at Demetrius, he was at his biggest and hottest and beat him. Demetrius has got on the stand and testified himself in a case and won. Demetrius Holloway, as I said to y'all before, was a real fighter. Eddie Jackson was a real fighter. It wasn't no quitting laying down, talking about giving them white folks $50 million. We didn't got out here and worked our ass off to get it. We'd rather give it to Steve Fishman and let's see what happens in the courtroom because you ain't getting no 50 million out of me. Steve Fishman would get it before they got it and understand that that's how we've always felt. My father facing an 848 went and got Henry Roast back up in New York to take him out, take him down. Judge Fikens, they thought they was going to get a fat man life. The fat man told you he had heart to fight. He told Ron Gear Valley, we gonna be seeing a lot of each other and told Judge Fikens, I'm going to get some show enough heavyweight attorneys. And when Henry Ross Black walk in there, the C split in the federal courtroom in Detroit. They couldn't believe who Eddie Jackson had went and got to represent him. Henry Ross Black, one of the greatest attorneys ever to live, writing the book of law with F. Lee Bailey. Go to the library and look it up for yourself. As I told y'all before, I ran with trendsetters, groundbreakers, and money makers, baby. They was trendsetters, groundbreakers, and money makers. And as I say, as the fat man used to always say, it's going to take these niggas a lifetime to catch me. And he was going for that billion dollar mark. Understand that, and this is in the early 70s. Everybody who know Eddie Jackson used to hear him say, I'm gonna make a billion dollars and build me a skyscraper in New York. Understand that anybody who hung around Eddie Jackson heard those words. I'm gonna make me a billion dollars and build me a skyscraper in New York. That's from Eddie Jackson, the fat man, the original originator, Eddie Jackson Sr. Understand this, the crew I ran with, Demetrius and my father. I'm gonna give it to y'all real because a brother asked me, Eddie, tell me this flat out. Who the baddest motherfucker you ever think in the game? I told him Coleman Young. Then I told him Larry Fires, brothers in the street and niggas getting money in the street. The biggest person I ranked ever for the heroin game in the city of Detroit is Eddie Jackson Sr., no doubt about it. The biggest person ever in the cocaine game in the city of Detroit, I rank Felix Walls, no doubt about it. Those are the two biggest people in your games. In the heroin game, Eddie Jackson was the biggest thing ever to come out of Detroit. And in the cocaine game, I would say Felix Walls was the biggest thing ever to come out of Detroit. Understand that. So I'm just, just letting you all know how the originators really be. Understand how they really clown. Money ain't a thing at all. So as he said, finally they caught up. It took them about 40 years to get the first billion, Dr. Dre. So the fat man been running and getting down for a long time. And as I say to all of you all, nothing ventured nothing gained. $50,000 I would take a chance on any day for 200 keys at that time of pure heroin, 90% at $5,000 a key. Catch up. Understand this. Catch up. Me and the five was finna rocket up into space. So this is real true street crime. Just letting you know about the originators in all the games in the city of Detroit. Look it up for yourself. Google Demetrius Holloway and see what Google tells you. The original Big Meech.
look up when I get them interviews with my father. Every time Bill's Bond used to be introduced to me sitting there, the originator, Eddie Jackson. The originator, Eddie, the fat man Jackson, Big Bear Cola, Mr. President. The originator, Eddie Jackson, making a way for everything that would come afterwards. First one to go to the big money fights, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, at Madison Square Garden. As I say to all of you, I don't want to hold you too long because I want to keep you. But go over there and check out Brittany Simmons, a fine young attorney. And let me say this, DeSantos is the governor of Florida, and I know that. In the story yesterday, I slipped and called him mayor. Recall Governor DeSantos in Florida. Recall Greg Abbott Governor in Texas, recall Governor DeSantos in Florida. They are killing people. And right now, they're working on killing your kids. So this is real true street crime, saying we need term limits to get Mitch McConnell and all these rotten senators out there who's blocking the progress and the growth of America. It's time for Mitch McConnell to go. It is time for all these lies and deception and rich people paying no taxes. It is time out for Bill Gates and Jeff Basil and all of these billionaires who ain't paying no taxes and doing their fair share to help America and think we supposed to sit around and cheer them going up to the moon. How about this? We'll cheer you if you pay some taxes. How about that? Mr. Jeff Basil, Mr. Bill Gates, Mr. Virgin Ruckus. Why don't y'all buy paying some taxes and we'll stand around and cheer you when you throw your money away going to the moon. But it don't seem quite right. It seems like you throwing the taxpayers money away going to the moon because you're not paying any taxes. If you was paying any taxes, I wouldn't say anything because they rode my father like a horse about him and all of you could buy and sell him 50 times over. So it's a disgrace. And Milton Henry even said it back then, if you look at the video, and I'm gonna start to play the video a little more. Milton Henry says this himself. Mr. Jackson pays his taxes. That's much more than I can say for the Shell Cooperation, Bill Gates, Jeff Basil, Virgin Ruckus, all of them, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett says, and here's a disgrace to y'all, and I ain't gonna hold you long because I know you don't like this. Warren Buffett said, it is a disgrace in America, and this is Warren Buffett, a billionaire, saying this out of his own mouth. Warren Buffett said, it is a disgrace in this country that his secretary pays more taxes than he does. And that's straight out of Warren Buffett's mouth, a billionaire. How in the world can his secretary pay more taxes than him? This is real true street crime saying subscribe, share, and like. And let's get some term limits in here to get some politicians in here that will tax Facebook, Google, Gateway. We need to be taxed, have their tax dollars helping America since they say they good Americans. How can you really tell me you're a good American and you making billions and billions and billions on top of that, and you won't pay any taxes to help the people. You feel whatever you give out of your heart is what you should, and that's not right. They should pay taxes, and I'm saying that to you, America. Everybody else, even Jared's daddy, even Jared Kushner, daddy went to jail about tax evasion and taxes. So this is real true street crime, Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to all who watch me, view me, take a look at me, whether good or bad, thumbs up or thumbs down. But let me say this and I'm out of here. Go on and check Brittany Simmons out, a fine young attorney. Check her out and she would definitely help you out. Simmons Law, wheels, divorces, anything corporate. Jelani's Taste the Table, fine young chef, weekend down there banging it out. 
at the Techno Fest in Southwest Detroit. Jelani's Tasting Table. Maybe you got a chance to taste one of them turkey drumsticks this weekend at the Techno Fest. Top Tier Cuts 313, Super Kid for the weekend, baby. Top Tier Cuts 313, Super Kid for the weekend. Coney Island Chronicles is Coney Island Tony. And Coney Island Chronicles, check them out on YouTube and on Instagram. Coney Island Tony. Coney Island Chronicles. And you got to check out Big Boss Film, Courtney Brown Jr., because he's on fire over there. He is burning them up. You got to check out Big Boss Film. You got to check out Motown Mafia Podcast on Spotify. Courtney Brown Jr. leading the way, scorching them all the way. And Clarence and Metcalf, loud delivery. Awful loud. I smell them all the way over here. They're awful loud out of HP, Highland Park, Michigan. And you got to go on over there and check us out on Crime Town, Spotify, Kingpin's Kids. And I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. Ha!